Hi, I'm Senator Tom Harkin. As we all know, this year marks the 20th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. As the chief sponsor of the ADA in the Senate, I will always remember the day it was signed into law, July 26, 1990, as one of the proudest in my legislative career. How far we've come. Before the ADA, life was very different for people with disabilities, and discrimination was both commonplace and accepted. I will always remember the hearings we had in both the Senate and the House, the dramatic and disturbing testimony of how individuals with disabilities struggled because of this discrimination. We heard stories of individuals who had to crawl on their hands and knees to go up a flight of stairs or to gain access to their local swimming pool. Stories of individuals who couldn't ride on a bus because there wasn't a lift. Stories of individuals who couldn't go to concerts or ball games with their family because there was no accessible seating. Stories of how individuals could not even cross the street in their wheelchairs because, well, there were no curb cuts. Millions of stories of Americans who were denied access to their own communities and to the American dream. Over the last two decades, we have made some truly amazing progress. Streets, buildings, sports arenas, transportation systems are more accessible for people with physical impairments. Information is offered in alternative formats so it's usable by individuals with visual or hearing impairments. Employers are required to provide reasonable accommodations so that people with disabilities can have equal opportunity in the workplace. These changes are all around us, and they're so integrated into our daily lives now that it's sometimes hard to remember how the world was before the ADA. Just as important, we have seen an enormous change in attitudes towards people with disabilities. Our expectation is that we will do what it takes to give individuals with disabilities not just physical access, but equal opportunity in our schools, our workplaces, in all areas of our economy and society. Today we recognize that people with disabilities, like all people, have unique abilities, talents, and aptitudes. And America is better and fairer and richer when we make full use of those gifts. Every individual with a disability deserves a chance to realize the four great goals of the ADA. Equal opportunity, full participation, independent living, and economic self-sufficiency. However, progress under the ADA only happens when people, people like you, understand what the law requires and then choose to make it a priority to ensure that individuals with disabilities are included in all aspects of community life. It's one thing for people with disabilities to have rights on paper, and a very different thing to enjoy those rights in everyday practice, especially in their communities and in their workplace. It is an ongoing fight, a never-ending struggle, to vindicate those rights. So to those of you who are on the front lines in this struggle, I thank you for the work you do every day to ensure that ADA is alive and vibrant in your communities, opening doors of opportunity and breaking down barriers of discrimination. Together we can help ensure a continued future of inclusion, equality, and opportunity for all Americans.